Hi, and welcome back to my channel. We are now going to be looking at part three, where it's going to be essentially essential oils and science, but we're going to be looking up at how this specific essential oil lavender is making its way through science and what studies are being done with it and so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's get into it. Lavender Week, Part 3, The Science. So, we've seen and talked about and learned about the herb and the essential oil. Now, what about the science? You know I love my science and I love the research. So, let's see what the scientists have to say about this. In the first study, they were... The group of scientists was looking at using essential oil to help heal episiotomy with less pain, redness, and infection. Episiotomies are a very common procedure, and as with any uh, wound care, is very important whether it's a surgical incision or you cut yourself with a knife. Now, in Iran, which is where the study was taking place, betadine and no-provodone iodine is what the midwives and obstetricians have been trained to use for a very long time. It's relatively inexpensive and easy to get a hold of, and, well, it works. However, science has scientists um, and researchers and studies have proven that it may not actually stimulate proper healing in the first place. It can cause allergic reactions. It can actually prevent healing to happen. It can reduce the wound strength, the area around the wound as it closes. Um, and it also may actually suppress or keep these specialty cells from actually healing the body healing the wound, healing the infection, healing whatever needs healing. Now, alternative therapies, which, you know, back in the day were not actually alternative therapies. They were treatments, but they're coming back into play in a very popular way. Um, alternative therapies have been brought back into medical science and scientists are taking a look at them and doctors are using them, actual medical doctors are using them. So aroma, if you've ever gone someplace, say a mall and you went and you smelled a Cinnabon or you went to your, you know, Gloria Jean's and you smelled a cup of coffee and it triggers a memory, that is your limbic system at work. There's a very small part of your brain that is where your emotional center is that is the limbic system and that influences not only your emotions but your autot autonomic nerves and your endocrine systems now the absorption of essential oils is really interesting because their molecules are so small that they can actually cross the blood-brain barrier bringing nutrients and their healing constituents into all parts of the body which may not otherwise be able to transfer treatments very well. Furthermore, the aromatherapeutic properties of lavender have been known for a very long time. It's antibacterial, antifungal, it's great for uh, as a treatment in conjunction with meds if you need to take meds for depression, for anxiety, for relaxing muscles, for dealing with gastrointestinal issues. I know, TMI, but we all have those, it's okay. We're friends here. So anyway, the species that they generally use is the stochas and all the subspecies as well that I mentioned in the first part of this week. 
and that is best known for its antispasmodic and carminative properties or the relax muscle relaxation properties so they ha it has the highest amount of constituents or elements in there to cause to, for those specific treatments now Dale and Cornwell um, wrote a book in 1994 and they were talking about perennial healing in there and what they said was that there was a clinical trial where there were 635 women lavender essential oil was used and a placebo so it was pretty much 50 50 in each group so they were looking for women that had normal vaginal deliveries and what they said is in this study the mean discomfort score was lower in women using lavender essential oil than it was with the women using the placebo and getting no treatment whatsoever and now there was also no significant side effects reported that's pretty amazing the methods mm, very important to figure to know what scientists actually did right so it'll all make sense in the end what they did was they removed lavender essential oil from the from the fresh blossoms they actually made their own oil for this so they can control it all and in this clinical trial it was conducted by the Barrage essence pharmaceutical company and 120 subjects were included in the study and they used written informed consent they were looking originally for first-time mothers who was sing with pregnant with a single child and they then um, accepted those without any acute or chronic disease or allergy with spontaneous vaginal delivery who had undergone a PC episiotomy and they were eventually included in the study now participants were assigned based into two two groups of one group receiving the providone iodine and one group receiving the lavender essential oil now the iodine group is the control group because that is what is commonly used as treatment in Iran now the lavender essential oil is the variable group where they're looking for changes to happen two groups these two groups were asked to go to the uh, clinic Telegani clinic for proper examination during their healing process at the 10th day of postpartum what was found was that their pain which was evaluated by a visual analog scale the edema and redness were each evaluated and reported in centimeters and millimeters respectively and here are the results in the demographics which are important to note 95 percent were housekeepers and there were 97.6 at you know, 58 of them were in the control group 45.8 percent were educated to a diploma level and 35.2 percent were not however it was not a significant difference between either of the two groups in this first table there is actually no significant difference between age duration of first and second stage of labor number of pregnancies weight of newborns I will also let be linking the studies in this PowerPoint down below as well so you can take a look for yourself if you have any questions and don't quite understand it let me know Email me Nikki at Nikki'sEssentials.com and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I get to go have a root canal today. Yay! So that's why I'm doing this now before I go so I can still talk to you. Now, table two. This one, 25 individuals in the lavender control group and 17 in the control group. There was no pain reported and there were no significant difference between the groups. 31 individuals in the lavender group and 13 individuals in the control group experienced no redness little to no edema no more than two centimeters and no complications now two of the control um, patients three overall had just a mild infection but that can really happen with any treatment 
So it's not really all that surprising that there was a little something something. I think it was a really small group too. I think they should probably should have used more, but that's me. Now, in conclusion, a suitable therapy for postpartum episiotomy and wound care is lavender essential oil. They found that there were no side effects except for two patients who had a little irritation. And they said that future randomized clinical trials with large sample size and careful follow-up with close observation is suggested for more confirmation and results. Now, our second study was about the aromatherapy evidence for sedative effects of the essential oil of lavender after inhalation. Now, in this study, they were talking of, in, the, in their introduction, they were talking about how lavender has been known for centuries for its sedative-like effects. And it's been used for psychosomatic disorders, impairment, mild illness, depression. And it, they said, until now, no evidence was found that essential oil of lavender can induce the effects as mentioned above, only be means of only by means of inhalation so there's no scientific proof so their purpose for the entire thing was their aim was to study the aroma aromatherapeutical influence of the essential oil of lavender and to prove their efficacy in herbal pillows used in folk medicine since ancient times I don't condone animal testing, but this is what they did, and it's still unfortunately a commonplace practice. Um, but anyway, here goes. The animals they used were mice, male and female, between six weeks and six months of age, housed in groups of four. And the chemicals they used was the common lavender in therapeutic grade. It was, and they were using its main constituents, which were linalool and linalool acetate. They, for aroma circulation, they used these charcoal tubes that they essentially pumped the fragrance or diffused aroma through to the mice into their enclosures. Blood was taken and mixed with heparin, which is a blood thinner, anticoagulant, and caffeine was added, 0.1% uh, solution, and injected back into the body cavity in volumes of 0.5 milliliters per animal. Now here are the methods for their madness. What they used was a special cage with, you know, shavings and some food, and they had the special light barrier that when the when the mice crossed it, then it triggered impulses, they said, which were evaluated during the experiment. Uh, the airstream with essential oil compound passed through the activated charcoal, then removed with carbon disulfide. Now, the, said, they also said that the quantity of fragrance compounds remaining in the air was determined by measuring difference between original amount of fragrance and the residual amount in the charcoal. The experiment took place at noon, which they found out through observation that it was the peak activity time for the little mices. Now, here are the results. Normal motor activity rates were found, identical for female and male animals. There were sedative effects of the fragrance, and it was expressed by them curling up in the corner. If you've ever had mice or rats, which I have, that's what they do. The more the relaxed they are, the more comfortable they are to just go huddle in a corner and take a nap. Anyway, so they were inactive and drowsy, and they were exhibiting this behavior, which is exactly, which is what the scientists were hoping was the case. And uh, the treated animals were expressed as a significant decrease in impulse counts or behavioral counts. Um, inhalation of lavender oil and its constituents, linalool acetate. In further experiments, the mice were injected with caffeine. And you know how caffeine is. It gets you all excited and ready to go and up and at them. But from, they went from 160% like mice, crazy, crazy, crazy mice to, you know, 
as a consequence of the essential oil fragrance, there was a distinct decrease in the activity of these mice, just like it was in the control group. Now, what they did find was that there was a direct correlation between the plasma concentration of the linalool and the inhalation time. Mm -hmm. So here, let's look at table one. So this is after caffeine injection and exposing the animals to the essential oil and the two compounds found within the oil itself. And this is a uh, their time chart. It was given by mouth. The dosage between 10 milligrams and 1,000 milligrams per animal was used. A distinct effect after inhaled exposure was already found in the plasma of the treated mice within the range of a few milliliters as shown in figure three. And here's table two. It summarizes acute toxicity studies of lavender oil and some terpene compounds. These results lead to the conclusion that the very low concentrations used in the field of aromatherapy seem to be without pathological consequences on organs and tissue structures. So in conclusion, lavender essential oil and its components were observed in mice with the control group and a group injected with caffeine. Both of these groups had a de decreased amount of activity and behaviors, and they were just more relaxed and more comfortable and ready to go take a nap. I could go take a nap. I didn't sleep at all last night, but that's a different story. That's for my daily vlog, Essentially Nikki. Go find it. I'll have links in the space below this stuff. Anyway, so how strongly the essential oil affected the mice was directly corresponding to how long they were exposed to it. It also pertains to the mice on caffeine. They became less hyperactive. Now, what they said was thus providing evidence of the aromatherap aromatherapeutical use of herbal pillows used in folk medicine since ancient times in order to aid falling asleep or to minimize stressful situations. All right, guys, thank you for joining me for part three, the final installation of Lavender Week. Did you dig it? I thought it was a lot of fun. It was a lot easier to do, too, and took a lot less time because I could split it up and, you know, take it piece by piece, which was actually a lot more fun for me instead of draining. And I think this is a good... Um, way to do these certain these types of series this type of series and especially with school starting on the 29th of august with it being a little bit easier this way um it might be good to continue to do it so if you liked it leave me a thumbs up if you're brand new here welcome so happy to see your face Leave me a comment down below, and I will see y'all next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.